One ball, two strikes. Davis comes to the plate. Strike three call. It's over. They've done it. The Royals are World Series champions. The world champion Kansas City Royals. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. With their backs against the wall in Game 5 of the World Series, the Mets turned to the dark night, and Matt Harvey responded. Backed by a leadoff home run from Curtis Granderson, Harvey mowed down Royal after Royal, striking out nine batters over eight-plus innings. But after Terry Collins sent him out for the night, everything changed. Lorenzo Cain worked a leadoff walk, and after he stole second base, Eric Cosmer doubled him home to bring the Royals within a run and end Harvey's bid for the first shutout in a potential World Series elimination game since Kurt Schilling back in 1993. Two batters later, and with Mets closer Jay Reese Familia on the mound, the Royals' magic continued. Runner at third, one out. Broken back. Cut off by right. So on to extra innings, game five would go. And in the 12th inning, with Addison Reed on the mound and the go-ahead run just 90 feet away, pinch hitter Christian Colon stepped in for his first at-bat of the entire postseason. His biggest at-bat, his first of the postseason. Colon delivers in the left. In to score is Dyson. And Kansas City is on top, 3-2. And the Royals did not stop there. Alcides Escobar wrote an RBI double, and Lorenzo Cain's gaffer added three more huge insurance runs to hand Kansas City and closer Wade Davis a five-run lead. The one-two again. Inside corner, the Royals, 2015 World Champions. The Kansas City Royals are the 2015 World Series champions. You want me to say it one more time? The Kansas City Royals are the 2015 World Series champions. After coming a game short of winning the 2014 World Series, the Royals avenge that defeat and then some. It's their first championship in 30 years and second title in franchise history. Game five also marked a record seventh time this postseason that the Royals have come from behind to overcome a multi-run deficit to earn a win. Salvador Perez is your World Series MVP after hitting 364 in the series with two doubles and two RBIs. He becomes the first catcher to win World Series MVP since the Blue Jays' Pat Borders in 1992. This is my eighth World Series. I've lost seven of them. So to be able to win this is very, very special with this group of guys. I really forget about the last year. So I do enjoy the moment right now. In 2015, Kansas City and number one. So, who cares about what happened last year? Amazing, lots of words. Definitely doesn't get any better than this. That's what we set out to do, and we accomplished it. When Low Kane got that walk, you know, we uh, we knew right away. Okay, here we come. You know, and it just we just find ways to get it done. I don't know any other words to describe it. That was uh, an incredible season, incredible finish. You know, exactly what we set out to do. To have another opportunity to have the the same core group of guys be here and. Just have another shot at a world championship man, meant the world to us, and we surely did make the most out of it. You know, you, you, you know, you, you say we had them. You never have them until that 27th out's made. And you know, we played very well. We pitched very well. We, you know, uh, yeah, we're real disappointed. Yeah, it's obviously disappointing. I, I felt so great all game. Felt so great in the ninth. You know, wanted, wanted the ball, and, and uh, you know, I. I Gave it everything I had. You know, it stings and, and it hurts for sure. But when I look back on this year, it'll be the best time that I ever had on a baseball field. For more on these stories and for complete coverage of the 2015 World Series, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.